Welcome to this Seago online training demonstration. In this session, we will provide a tutorial of the process of creating a server profile. A server profile acts as a repository for virtual interfaces. It creates a link between all the virtual interfaces it houses and the physical server to which it's associated. We assume we have an XMS server ready to use and that the Seago host drivers are installed on the hosts. Refer to other online training or product documentation about meeting these prerequisites. Using the XMS server, let's begin the process. First, let's review the topology of the environment. We see three physical servers, each connected to two separate chassis. Each chassis will need its own server profiles for each of these three hosts. Now we're ready to create a server profile. There are a couple of ways to start the process. We can use the common task selection, or we can select virtual resources to see the server profile summary screen. Then press the new button. Either way, we start the same workflow in XMS. The first step in the workflow is to select a chassis for the server profile. As I said at the beginning, if the physical server is connected to two different chassis for redundancy, I need a server profile on each. To do that, I just complete this process twice, once for each chassis. Then I must provide a name for the server profile. The name is arbitrary, but I would recommend not including any characteristics of the physical server in the name of the server profile. That's because if the server profile is moved in the future, the underlying physical hardware may change and the name used initially may not make sense anymore. There is room for a description that helps provide more details if necessary. The next step in the workflow allows us to create virtual interfaces for this server profile. We will complete those procedures in another online training session. For now, let's just create an empty server profile. Now, we can associate the server profile with a physical server. For each chassis, each physical server can have only one active server profile. I select the physical server and click Next to continue. If a default gateway is already defined, I can choose one in this step. It's not required. It just provides a shortcut if all virtual network interfaces in this server profile will use the same gateway. The summary screen allows me to check my work before I continue. When I press Finish, I get a screen showing me the results of the process. When I close the confirmation screen, I am taken to the Server Profile Summary screen. A quick check of the Server Profile state shows me it's ready to go. That completes the process of creating a Server Profile. Now we are ready to create virtual interfaces. Continue with other Seago online training sessions to see those procedures. Thanks for watching.